I also, I'm not going to mention any names here, but I have to, I was, I was humorously amused. Is there any other way to be amused? I was humorously amu amused over the over the break a um, a person who had been in politics and then jumped into talk radio thinking it would be easy quit. Well, I'm not going to mention any names. It's not the purpose here. It's not the, the but the, what fascinated me was the reason given by the person when they decided to drop out. The person who quit blamed the syndicator for not getting him an audience. That's right. And, and I remember when I started in 1956, it was totally up to me to get the audience. The syndicator, you know, there was a, there was a combined effort to get radio stations. I mean, yeah, you've got to go out and you've got to get affiliates and, and that's key. And you try to get, try to get the best ones that you can. And of course, we would not allow this program to be cleared at night. That would defeat the whole purpose. We were going to be on noon to three, and that was it. If you wanted the program, you had to carry it noon to three. If we would have allowed people to take the program at night, you'd have never heard of this program. And I remember the KAB in, in LA, KABC, the guy, George Green was his name. He offered, you remember the stories? He offered, to buy the program and then shelve it, not air it, keep it off the air in L.A. And I was worried that syndication partners might go for the money on the deal. And they didn't. I was wrong about it. But, I mean, those kinds of things uh, happen. In the same token, I was not going to permit this program to be delayed to nighttime or weekends. In Pittsburgh, they said, well, you know, we're not sure. Well, how about we take the program on weekends and test it? I said, guaranteed failure. Everything on weekend, there's nothing you're going to move from weekend to days. We're not doing it. So we would stay out of markets rather than go in and lose. And I just, I just found it, I found it fascinating that <laughs> I, I just never had the luxury of saying that it's a syndicator to get my audience. Must be a, well. It is a liberal attitude to think somebody else must do it for you. Uh, 